Chairman, the President and Dean of Graduate School will now confer honorary doctorate of aviation management to the President of the United Republic of Tanzania, Her Excellency Dr. Samia Salu Hassan. President, Dean, and Her Excellency, please come forward for the conferment. In recognition of her great contribution to academia and the advancement of human culture, has conferred upon Samia Sulu Hassan the degree of Doctor of Philosophy in Aviation Management Honoris Causa, has accordingly been admitted to that degree with all the honors, rights, and privileges thereto. Given in Seoul, Korea, the 3rd of June in the year 2024, in witness whereof the seat of the university and the signature of the president is herewith affixed. Dean of the Graduate School, Dr. Su Chan Huang, President of the University, Dr. Hee Young Ha. Congratulations, Dr. Hassan. Let's have a photo time. Please bring forth a bouquet of flowers to congratulate Her Excellency Dr. Hassan. Please stay, Her Excellency. Chairperson Hyun will present a souvenir prepared by Jungseok Inha Sports Foundation. Chairperson Hyun, please come forward. 기념품 증정이 있겠습니다. The souvenir is a nail plate made of mother of pearl which is a traditional Korean crafting material known for its iridescent appearance. Now, now we'd like to ask Her Excellency Dr. Vassan to deliver a speech of acceptance. Please give Her Excellency a big round of applause. Congratulations again. Thank you. Professor He Young Ho, President of Korea, Aerospace University, Chairperson, the Dean, our Korea Aerospace University professors and board members, Honorable Ministers, Senior Government Officials from Tanzania and Republic of Korea, faculty members and students, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. It is with immense gratitude that I stand before you today to receive this prestigious honor. This is an achievement which I've never dreamed of. Thank you very much.
I extend my heartfelt appreciation to the Senate of the esteemed Korea Aerospace University for their recognition of my modest contribution to the aviation sector in Tanzania. In the face of rapid technological advancements, evolving consumer expectations, and impactful global challenges, our commitment to realize the potential and promise of the aviation sector must remain unwavering. Tanzania's ambition to develop aviation industry was driven by our physical features. The country has a surface area of 100, 945,000 square kilometers and is strategically located in East Africa in the Indian Ocean bordering eight countries by land and two more by sea. Of necessity, realizing effective multimodal connectivity becomes a high priority. Our most recent push to advance the aviation sector was fueled by the cognition of the sector in supporting our economy, bid back better after the COVID-19 pandemic. We realized that this sector holds immense potential to bolster economic growth through the facilitation of investment, trade and travel and tourism. I'm happy to note that the aviation industry in Tanzania has, sent, has seen remarkable growth and development in recent years. In the post-pandemic period between 2021 and 2023, there was a notable surge with an average annual increase of passengers of 28%. During the same period, the total number of airlines operating international flights has increased from 26 to 33 since 2021, and thus increasing the number of tourists um, even before, uh, before uh, COVID, uh, before COVID um, time. So we have now close to 2 million tourists visiting Tanzania. We have a number of um, uh, international direct flights to Tanzania, including Air France, Saudi uh, Airlines, Fly Air and Jumbo Jet, and we are now in negotiations of more to come straight to Tanzania. The new airlines are taking advantage of business potential that exists, but also utilizing their bilateral air service agreements in place, which have increased from 77 in 2019 to 89 in 2023. Equally, it is worth noting that local operators and domestic travelers have also been a key part of growth in this sector. The domestic operations have expanded with the annual domestic traveler numbers risen by 26.5% from the pre-pandemic levels of 3 million passengers to 3.8 million passengers in 2023. Although the total number of aircraft registered in Tanzania declined from 151 in 2020, uh, 2015 to 136 in 2023, the seating capacity of all registered aircraft increased by 15% from 2,954 to 3,392, indicating that in 2023, the planes in operation were able to accommodate more passengers and that this high passenger load factor means low cost or lower cost for airline operations overall. Ladies and gentlemen, central to our, uh, central to our achievements has been our resolve to strategically invest in this, in this sector. Of note has been uh, the substantial investment in revamping our national career, Air Tanzania uh, Corporation, and infrastructural development initiatives such as radar systems installation 
and the rehabilitation and expansion of airports across the country. Before 2026, our national career had only one working flight. As of March this year, as the Dean has uh, correctly said, we have augmented the Air Tanzania Corporation fleet to 14 passenger planes and one cargo craft. Furthermore, we have expanded its network from just four national destinations to 24 destinations, which also include eight regional African routes and three international destinations as they have been mentioned earlier. Revamping the careers has translated into remarkable financial growth for Air Tanzania Corporation, with revenue increase from Tanzanian shilling 23 billion, which is around 12.1 uh, billion Korean, uh, Korean won in 2016 2017, to Tanzanian shilling 380.4 billion, which is around 200.2 billion Korean won in 2023, 2022-2023. Additionally, Air Tanzania Corporation domestic market share has surged to 53% from a mere 2.4% in 2022-2023, while passengers volume has surged by 42% from 4.8 million in 2015 to 6.8 million 2024. Aircraft movements have also increased by 20%, with cargo volumes witnessing an 18% uptick between 2015 and 2023. Along with revamping our national career, we have also made sustainable strides in enhancing our workforce. The number of licensed pilots and aircraft engineers, engineers grown significantly. Pilots increased to 604, a 21% rise, and engineers uh, uh, 76, 181% increase by the end of last year, 2023. This expansion in manpower has led to improved operational efficiency, leaving adequate room for flight crew to rest and reduce the number of craft handled by each engineer. Investment has gone to infrastructure in the aviation sector as well. We have upgraded our existing international airports to improve services and to enable them to handle more traffic. And as we have attracted experienced operators, experienced operators including Denata and Celebi, among others, we are building a new international airport in our new capital city, Dodoma. And we are also rehabilitating and upgrading a total of seven existing domestic airports. In line with our civil aviation master plan, we aim to have an airport in each of the 26 regions of Tanzania mainland and in Zanzibar, two in Zanzibar, Unguja and Pemba. As a result, we expect the domestic air travel numbers to continue to grow, creating more socioeconomic opportunities for our people. We have also invested in many modern air traffic management systems and radars in different parts of the country, thus enhancing Tanzania's air uh, traffic safety and efficiency, and facilitating controllers to handle traffic volumes and make decisions. Whereas the number of uh, Air Tanzania Corporation balance sheet are modest, the contribution to the broader economy has been immense. Enhanced air transport has facilitated movements of goods and people, connected markets, and simulated economic activities. I'm proud to note that the contribution of the aviation sector in Tanzania has increased from 0.9% in 2018 to 2.5% of GDP in 2023. Thank you. Hamsamida.
Asante sana. So beyond the numbers, this growth has helped to change lives through creating jobs. It is gratifying to note that employment in the aviation sector has increased by 47% from the pre-pandemic levels and presently employ around 10,000 people. The question then is, what do all these sets of figures indicate? They show us that our efforts to build back better in the aviation sector are bringing about meaningful results. They reveal consumer confidence returning, which is in line with IATA estimates of 2024 being the year when passenger numbers on average across the world will surpass the pre-COVID levels. It is true in Tanzania. We have reached this target. Also critical, these numbers show promise of future growth of Tanzania's aviation sector and the immense potential this sector holds. It is our vision to realize a dynamic aviation industry that will enable Tanzania to position itself as the preferred destination for investment, trade and tourism. To this end, we are presently reviewing our civil aviation master plan to provide a strategic direction for comprehensive and sustainable development of this sector in line with our overall economic and social development objectives. Undoubtedly, the progress achieved thus far represents significant milestone that our nation should rightfully take pride in. However, it is imper imperative to acknowledge that our journey still continues. And amidst these successes, challenges remain. Broadly, we are yet to meet our target annual traveler numbers. Currently, Tanzania is directly linked with only 38 international destinations. As such, there's a lot of room for more connectivity. We also face challenges which limit the sector's growth or growth potential and that necessitate our focused attention. This includes insufficient qualified aviation personnel, such as licensed pilots and certified engineers. We also see room to improve our business process management. More investment is required in critical airport infrastructure needed to support aircraft operations and the storage of goods, particularly cold storage facilities for perishables. Lastly, insufficient capacity within uh, our civil, civil aviation training center impedes the development and training of aviation personnel. However, the challenges I listed above are surmountable and can be overcome through enhancing capacity building initiative and fostering public-private partnership. In so doing, we can unlock the full potential of the aviation sector and ensure its sustainability or sustainable growth and prosperity. Ladies and gentlemen, today I wish to reiterate Tanzania's appreciation to the Government of Republic of Korea for the technical cooperation and support in different sectors. I thank His Excellency President Yoon when I met at Yangson office for the invitation to undertake this visit to Korea. This honor that you have accorded to me yet again presents an opportunity to also foster cooperation in the aviation sector. I'm aware that Korea Airways is among the top 10 airlines in the world, and overall, the Korean aviation industry is regarded as one of the most efficient in the, in the world. I'm also informed that a majority of Korean aviation experts are products of this prestigious university. And so I believe with this impressive reputation, 
Tanzania can benefit a lot from your experience, expertise, and partnership. We want to learn from your best, and we want to partner with your best. And so, we're expecting to work with you. We're expecting to work with you and the Korean aviation in having not a university, but a college or a school in Tanzania. So that's uh, one part of the cooperation. But then in my mind, I have the Korean Aerospace University, the Korean Airport Corporation, and the Korean Airways in this regard. I wish to welcome you to join us in fostering a partnership of shared prosperity in our growing aviation industry. I also mentioned our Civil Aviation Training Center, which we plan to expand in terms of its training capacity and also ensuring it has the appropriate infrastructure and adequate training facilities. To realize this, I believe that partnership are important and we invite you, Korean uh, Aeronautical University, to consider partnering with us. Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, in conclusion, I wish to say that I receive this honor with a profound sense of responsibility and dedicated to all Tanzanians for their solid and steadfast support to me since assuming this office. I also acknowledge the significant contribution of all of my predecessors in shaping the aviation sector in Tanzania. I'm particularly grateful to the late President John Pombe Magufuli for the groundwork he laid which facilitated the continuity or continuing transformations in Tanzania's aviation journey. Going forward, as a recipient of this honorary doctorate, I'm committed to continuing to push the boundaries to ensure that the aviation industry remains a driving force for both progress and prosperity in Tanzania. I'm confident that the Korea will be a key part of this history. I thank you for your kind attention. Thank you very much. Asante sana, Madam President. Before adjourning, we'd like to have a photo session in the front. 사진 촬영 이사원이 연단을 치워주시길 부탁드립니다. We are going to take two pictures. First, may we ask Her Excellency Dr. Hassan, Chairperson Hyun, President Ha, and Dean Huang to come forward for a picture. The ceremony is not finished yet. And we would like to ask distinguished guests in the first two rows together in the front for pictures. Distinguished guests from Tanzania, please use the left stairs to the stage. 대한민국 내빈께서는 오른쪽 계단을 이용